Citizens Broadband Radio Service, or CBRS, relates to some spectrum that's available within North America. Now, this spectrum is already used by certain incumbents known as Tier 1 providers, and those relate to things like military coastal radar, as you can see, environmental uh, sensing uh, capability uh, devices, licensed satellite earth stations. So they're the incumbents, and the idea is the FCC has enabled other providers to start utilizing this spectrum under certain rules. So what you'll find is there's three tiers. So tier one, the incumbents, tier two, relates to what's called priority access licenses. And in there, these are, again, commercial au auction licenses, effectively, that different providers can get access to this particular spectrum. And it doesn't have to be 4G, 5G. It could be other technologies as well. So there's certain regulations. Now, it's all about, you know, utilizing this. But the key thing is, these PALs can't interfere with the incumbent. So there's a hierarchical uh, effectively set of rules in terms of how you can utilize this spectrum. So effectively, it's a shared spectrum. Down at the bottom, you've got tier three, and these are referred to as GAA, so the General Authorized Access. So it utilizes a shared access system. So in order to utilize this spectrum, you again, you're going to need to coordinate when you're able to use it. And if, for example, there is uh, or you are close to the coast and there are military radar systems taking place, then obviously that's going to prohibit utilization of this spectrum at that time. So again, it's all about minimizing interference from the from the lower layers there, the, the higher tiers, tier three, uh, back to the incumbents and the PALs, as you can see visualized. Now, in terms of the spectrum, it operates around about the 3.6 gigahertz. So you can see I've got the frequency range at the bottom here. So in here, we've got the CBRS radio spectrum. We've identified that we've got our tier one, tier two, tier three access. So at the top, I mentioned that we have the incumbents. So different permutations exist in there. And you can see they've got certain access to that spectrum. Sitting below that tier two, we have the PALs the priority access licenses. Again, certain parts of that spectrum will be auctioned off or have been auctioned off. And you can utilize again without interfering with those incumbents in tier one. And then down at the bottom, you've got your general authorized access. Uh, sort of, it's not totally unlicensed because it's shared. You've got to coordinate in terms of the use of spectrum with those SASs to do with you know, the coordination of interference effectively through those tiers. Mm -hmm.